you know what, I take back everything I said about the show not being good in the last video. This episode was elite. And a lot happens in this episode, but before we get into it, this is your spoiler warning. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. And if you have, you guys are the real heroes. So the main arc of this episode was Homelander going back to the place that raised him, well, made him. And he is torturing those scientists since, well, they tortured him. But I don't actually know what they are. Are they scientists? Are they just people that work for four? Who knows? Comment below if you do. But he does torture them a lot like how they tortured him and in the exact same method. And it was gruesome to say the least. And somehow this show keeps upping its violence levels and it is wild how violent this episode was and it didn't even show half of the violence that happens. But to be fair we do see the element of karma when it comes to the scientists who raised Homelander since they had tortured him and made him grow up in a lab rather than with some loving parents and he turned out to be like this. I'm sorry Homelander but just please don't laser me. But weirdly in this scene I was kind of rooting for Homelander which is really weird since he is the villain of the show but the show does make me often root for Homelander. This also does raise questions as to how Ryan will turn out since he did have the element of a loving parent taking care of him though he too was secluded from society. This means that there's no way in predicting how Ryan will turn out and the show very much could make Ryan another Homelander and it might just end with that. Speaking of Ryan, Billy asks MM to take care of Ryan and that's pretty much all MM does this episode which once again adds to my gripe that he might not have anything to do this season but at the same time not every character needs to get the complete screen term like Kamiko hardly had any season 3 so it is understandable. When I say I was on the edge of my seat with the number of close calls this episode I am not even joking. When I saw A-Train arrive at Homelander's apartment and he gets busted I genuinely thought that was the end of A-Train but luckily it was only Ashley or Huey almost dying in the fight for the second time in two weeks while he teams up with Kimiko but that was cool or even when Frenchie got his face punched in by Colin and then again by Ezekiel too many close calls and it had me worried but we do see that Billy is taking some compound V but he does get blacked out when the powers activate a lot like Moon Knight but I just think that this is a side effect of the brain worm rather than an alternate personality. Huey's mom also gives Huey's dad some compound V and I feel like this is going to be the soup zombie storyline. This might tie into the soup virus storyline where it might just be Huey's dad awakening and then suffering the consequences of V a lot like Butcher. Either way him taking that V won't be a good thing and we also see Starlight finally snap and in arguably one of the most satisfying scenes in the entire season so far, she punches Firecracker in the face. Sage watches this as she says it's karma for her racist remarks from before, and it was just perfect. Perfect. Everything, down to the last minute details. But at the same time, Sage is smart and she is going to manipulate Starlight and paint it as a villain. But her raging was justified since her abortion was just leaked to the public. But I am excited to see where this leads, and this episode has the coldest ending scene so far, giving the episode an 8 out of 10. Subscribe and comment below your thoughts so far.